Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. You're watching JCTV playing on the Xbox One console. This is Stranded in the Pacific Northwest episode number 21. Welcome back folks. Thanks for tuning in. As you can see, we're cutting grass. Exciting stuff. So we've decided that, uh, sorry, I've decided that we need to do something with this silage business. Um, it's sort of just sitting stagnant doing nothing while we're constructing our super fields so I thought hey let's cut the grass around our fields and see how much we can get so far I've already cut all of the grass on the other side of the map we're on uh, the cotton field side now we still have not purchased that field to our left um, we've got $138,000 hopefully we need 1.2 million to purchase that field next door so I think that's gonna have to wait a little bit until we get this cotton business going and uh, we'll see how much money we can make from silage um, yeah so we are cutting grass around our fields uh, this is almost done now we're coming up to the top of the field and then it's just one little strip across and then we're done and then we can grab the loading wagon and start loading up the silage bins because uh, they're just sitting there empty and that's no good we bought the biogas plant for a reason and uh, every couple of days we can mow the grass and then fill up the silage bays and then uh, we'll rig up a conveyor belt system to automatically sell the silage from the pit right into the sell point which works out so we don't really have to do anything we'll just turn on the belts and watch it go and that will be that so while we're coming around to the start of the grass field why don't you take a quick minute subscribe to my channel the button is right there in the bottom right hand corner of the video like and share as well once you're done watching and then ring that notification bell so you can be alerted every time we upload new content we're doing a different map on a different series each day of the week mondays is greenwich valley tuesdays green river 2019 uh, don't forget about Westbridge Hills Wednesday. Uh, Thursday is obviously stranded in the Pacific Northwest. And Friday, the mysterious disappearance of my father on Lone Oak Farms. All right, now that that's all out of the way, we are done mowing the lawn. We're back to the start point. We went all the way around this field. And now we're just going to fold up the mowers. And we got to drive them all the way back to the other farm because that's where the loading wagon is. And then we will just uh, park these in the farm. We'll load up all of this grass. And then hopefully we can get a few hundred thousand liters of silage so that we can compact it and then wrap it and then wait for it to ferment. And then it's kind of like free money. The grass is just growing around our field. So why not just go and mow it and collect it and then sell it? Like we could just put it in the loading wagon and sell it right to the barn but we'll actually make more money selling it as silage so that way uh, yeah so we'll see how that goes you can see we've got our super field over here it's already planted and fertilized with uh, soybeans so we're just waiting for the seasons to change we are in uh, day two of mid spring so uh, yeah we can't actually uh, do anything else until the first stage of growing is completed and then we can fertilize again and then uh, hopefully we'll make a, a few hundred thousand dollars from the soybeans I'm hoping that we'll make a few hundred thousand dollars from the cotton as well so that we can uh, achieve our goal of buying that field for 1.2 million dollars I don't want to buy any property up the mountain until we've merged that field down below so one thing at a time once we master and conquer down the mountain in the Pacific Northwest we can uh, start conquering the uh, upper Pacific Northwest I'm guessing we'll call this the lower Northwest and then up the mountain will be upper Northwest so we've got the two farms here on the lower Northwest this is uh, farm operation central number one and then our satellite office on the other side uh, let's get our loading wagon here and we will start loading up the grass so we've not only cut the grass um, around our fields we also own that small plot of grassland right there ahead of us that's right beside our farm which uh, yields uh, quite a few thousand liters of grass as well 
So here we go. We're going to start right over here, picking up the grass. Let's see, we've got it all mowed into pretty little lines. I always like to have a start point and a finish point when I'm picking up the grass so we can just drive. We don't have to uh, curve and shut the loading wagon on and off and all that other stuff. Just follow the lines, picking up the grass. There we go. So this is going to take a uh, quite a bit of time to pick up all of this grass. Why don't we, uh, through the magic of TV, just jump ahead real quick. And we'll show you the last truck of this grass from this side of the farm going in the biogas plant. Here we are. And here is the last truckload of grass going into the silage base. And then we're going to compact it before we throw another layer on there. So you can see here, we've got 251,000 liters of grass just from that small plot of land beside our soybean field and all around the soybean field as well. So we're just going to unload this here and then uh, we will unhook the loading wagon, uh, attach the silage roller, and then we'll start compacting this to 100% so that we can lay the second layer over top of it. Um, I learned the hard way that if you just keep layering it, it takes a heck of a long time to compact it. It's better to do it in layers, so that way the second layer only needs to be compacted about 20% by the time you add all of this stuff to it. All right, so here we are. We've got the, uh, the Lizard Cyrol mod. And the only thing you really need to do with this is just to lower the silage ruler and then drive back and forth and in a crisscross pattern and you'll see that the grass is flattening out as you're driving. Uh, the slower you go, the more effective this tool is. If you go really, really fast, it's not really going to compact anything and you're just basically using the tracks of the tractor to compact. So we're just going to go forward and backward and left and right and just sort of drive over all the lumps to smooth them all out and then sooner or later you will be at 100% compactedness and then you can either throw some more grass over top of the chaff that's already compacted or you can just wrap the silo and then uh, go from there but we're going to choose the latter we are going to sorry not the latter we're going to choose the first option and we're going to add more grass to it let's skip ahead a little bit to the end of the compacting process you get the gist just uh, back and forth side to side until it's at hundred percent and here we go we're at 99 and you can see here it's all nice and flat there we go 100% compacted really only took about 20 minutes of real time but to save you from watching it in the video we've obviously spilt a lot out of the silage bin we may or may not pick that up later on so let's jump back in the loading wagon or sorry, let's attach the uh, loading wagon to the Platinum Edition class tractor. And then we will continue picking up grass, but on this side of the map, in and around our cotton field. It's basically just one straight line all around the field. And uh, you can see we got 251,000 liters of grass so far, just from the one side of the map. I'm guessing probably another 100,000 uh, just from this side of the map. So hopefully... Uh, this yields us a lot of cash at the end of the day. Um, the only thing that sucks is I wish that the, the biogas plant would just pay you as you sell it rather than making you wait until midnight to receive all your money and seeing the fruits of your hard labor. I'd rather just sell it. I mean, or I'd rather just get paid as we sell it rather than uh, waiting until midnight. All right, so we are on our way back to the start point. I don't want to start just in the middle. I don't know why. I guess it doesn't really make a difference. We're just going to drive back to the start line of our grass, and then we'll just drive until it's done. I just made one continuous line. You can see that there is still a lot more grass that could have been mowed, but, you know, it's th that takes a lot of time, and we've got a lot of grass to begin with. So what we're going to do is... We're going to fill up the middle silage bin. We're going to let that ferment. And then while that's fermenting, we're going to mow the grass again in a couple of days and then fill the other silage bin beside it, either to the right or the left. And we'll have like three bins going at the same time so that every time something is done fermenting, we have 
uh, more silage to sell and we'll just keep going and going and going and then uh, we need a uh, we need to make as much money as possible all right so we're off to the races filling up the loading wagon once again and i think uh, to save you some headaches we'll just uh, skip right to the end of the pickup process this is the last truck of grass we are now completed the entire lap around our field and we'll just drive this over to the biogas plant dump it in over top of what we already have and then we will uh, flatten that out or compact it again and cover that up and let it ferment and then we'll take it from there I don't know what maybe we'll do some contract work after we dump the silage who knows all right so last truck going in to the biogas plants I wish these uh, Terra track uh, class tractors went a little quicker it's kind of slow at 26 miles an hour, but oh well, what are you going to do? It's a powerful little tractor, and I love it. It is a fantastic piece of machinery. If you haven't had the chance to drive one, I strongly advise you pick one up. It is choice. All right, let's kill the headlights. All right, past Farm Operations Center number two, the satellite office, as I like to call it, and our massive cotton field I can't wait to fire up those uh, John Deere cotton harvesters and just let them go and dump cotton bales all over the field and then we just go pick them up later that is like super easy all right so this is the last truckload of silage going in here let's see how much do we have in here again all right we're at uh, what, 389 380 384 not wearing my glasses again. 390, 400,000. 401,000. That will go down uh, a few thousand after we compact it. And then, uh, yeah, we'll wrap that baby up once it's compacted. And then we'll ferment the silage. And then we'll fill up another bay uh, while it, that is fermenting. This time, I think we'll just keep filling it and filling it and filling it until we can't fill it anymore because we're going to buy another conveyor belt uh, just so it's uh, long enough to stretch to the cell point and then hopefully it'll allow us just to auto fill the cell point as silage is needed at the biogas plant and we'll just sell it automatically all right so here we're at uh, 81 percent compacted even with the new stuff that we just put in there the new chaff so we're just going to compact this up really quickly. Shouldn't take that long. And then I think, I think we're going to look at some contract work. Um, I had a look at it earlier and there's uh, quite a lot of fertilizing jobs, but there's small fields up on the mountain. So I'm pretty sure that we could probably do three or four jobs in one truck load of fertilizer with our new fertilizer sprayer or fertilizer truck. Pretty sure we can do uh, three or four jobs without having to fill it so it's always good to uh, make some extra money that way all right forward and backward left and right compacting the silage there's still a hell of a lot of room left in this silage bay or the silage bunker we could uh, technically fill it up I guess but we need money we kind of need it uh, very soon so if we want to buy that other field, well, like I said, we need $1.2 million, and we're only at 138000 And we're going to blow some more on fertilizer in a minute, so hopefully the, uh, the payout from the jobs that we're going to do is more than what we're paying for fertilizer, so we don't actually go further in the, into the hole from our goal. There we go, 99 and 100. We are done. Silage compacting is complete. You just detach the silage roller. Let's see, let's cover up this massive amount of silage. Alright, so we're at 400 and what? What did that say? Let's see here. 
406,000 liters of silage. Almost half a million. There we go. Bunkers now covered and fermenting. And that's our stuff that's on the outside, but that's okay. So we'll let that get to 100%, then we'll fill another bay beside it. And then uh, that will be that. All right, let's go check in at the Satellite Operations Center and see what contract work we have available to us. I'm thinking, yeah, we're going to do some fertilizer jobs up on the mountain. It should be relatively easy. Uh, good for some quick cash. There's our fertilizing truck right there. We'll just park this uh, tractor in front of the plow. Jump in the fertilizer truck and fill it up if need be. I can't remember if there's anything in it or not. All right, let's check the fertilizer. Yeah, look, there's a lot of fertilizing jobs here. And all of these fields are relatively close together. 3,000, 3,000, 2,000, 4,000, 1,000. All right, so we uh, just accepted our first job. And we're just going to jump in the fertilizing truck. The crap mobile, the Horschlieb PT350. And we need to fill it up, obviously. We're going to fill that up and then drive to our first field up on the mountain. And we're going to complete some contract work. All right, what's happening here? Oh, I need to get a little closer. There we go. The back of the truck needs to be there. All right. I'm memory serves me correctly it holds 5,000 liters of liquid fertilizer 5,000 there we go and it costs 7,900 to fill it up so we need to make more than seven thousand nine hundred and eleven dollars to outweigh the cost of the fertilizer which shouldn't be a problem because I think we can probably do now that I look at it all five of those fertilizing jobs we can probably knock all of them out in one fill with the tank look at some crazy guy mode one line of grass around the entire field I wonder who that was oh well it was me not gonna lie all right short little drive up the mountain while we're driving up the mountain folks uh, check the description of the video follow us on uh, Twitter my Twitter link is there as well um, join our discord server I think we've currently got uh, two members on our discord server so come on join the server it's hard talking to myself every day there's also uh, links to our patreon page as well with the uh, special offers for patreon members in uh, helping your youtube channels grow and flourish uh, what else is there oh there's the uh, facebook link as well you can follow us on facebook and also a uh, link to our PayPal. You can make a uh, donation if you like. We're trying to save up some money for some new equipment. I still need a new microphone, although uh, with Boxing Week specials, they are pretty cheap right now, but I am flat broke. So no microphone for me for the time being. We probably should upgrade this laptop as well. Um, maybe get a uh, full PC gaming setup, who knows. Um, I like playing Farm Sim on the Xbox. I don't really want to switch over to PC just yet, although, you know, I could do both. But for the time being, I like, uh, I love the, uh, the Xbox One console. It's fantastic. It hasn't failed me yet. So I think we're going to stick with that. All right, up on the mountain, this is where we're going to build our farm here on our right when we do actually come up the mountain. It's a nice uh, plot of land. We'll remove some of these trees so we can put some sheds, maybe a house. Who knows? All right, we're almost to the field. I can't even remember which field we're going to, but it's somewhere up here. And then uh, we'll just accept contract after contract until the fertilizing machine is empty. And then that will be that. Now, it's one thing about seasons. There's only a limited amount of contract work you can do. It's either fertilizing or cultivating this time of the year. So hopefully uh, as the seasons change, there'll be more things for us to do. Fertilizing, plowing, harvesting. All right. 
Our field should be up here very, very soon. Well, there's another plot of land here on our left that we could build our farm. Maybe in the, the middle of the heartland here, right across from the gas station. That might actually be beneficial so we don't have to put another gas um, gas thing up here. Where are we going? Number 14 is where we're going. Okay. All right. Let's unhinge the beast. This does take quite a long time to unfold. I'm surprised to... Uh, I put up with it this long, but I love this machine. It uh, has a super huge coverage area, and it just looks intimidating when it unfolds like that. And you can see these fields up here are relatively small. It's not going to take that long to uh, do these fields. So, but to spare you the uh, annoyance of just driving back and forth, uh, this is the beginning of job number one. We'll skip to the end of job number one here's the end of job number one and you can still see we've got 89% uh, capacity on the fertilizer spreader perfect here's the end of job number two at 77% perfect here's the end of job number three and we're at 64% uh, capacity raking in the cash Let's accept another job real quick. And here's the end of job number four. We are... Let me see here. Yeah, that's job number four. We're at 52% capacity. And the end of job number five. We've just did every fertilizing contract that they had in one load. And we still have 50% capacity left. So, in theory, we could probably do 10 fertilizing jobs in one load. That is fantastic. And we're now up to $146,000, whereas we were at, what, $138,000 before we filled it up. So we've recouped the $7,911 cost of fertilizer, and we've managed to increase our funds just a few thousand dollars, and we've helped out some local farmers in doing some contract work. Now we're going to take this beast down this dirt road. Hopefully we don't crash. Uh, I did take a mean tumble off the uh, the hill here, off camera. But uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Right over here. It's craziness. Get a lot of speed coming around that hill. Had to reset the fertilizer sprayer. Went into the river. It was just a ginormous catastrophe. All right, so we're coming up to the back entrance of the biogas plant. We're going to park the fertilizer spreader back in the satellite operations center. And then hopefully by day three of late spring, we will have more fertilizing or cultivating jobs to do. And maybe we'll be able to fertilize something. Who knows what the future holds. That is going to wrap up this episode, folks. Thanks for tuning in again. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, and ring that notification bell so you can be alerted every time we upload new content. You don't want to miss anything. For now, this is JCTV saying see you later.